Whiskey Hunter here. Welcome back to the Linen Closet. Thanks for joining me again. I talked about a bottle I picked up in an earlier episode of uh, Le Chag at a uh, little liquor store in a city called Malpitas that I stopped in. More like a drug store. I don't think drug stores have been around for a number of years, but some of you may remember the old drug stores. That's what this store is like. And I've gone back there a number of times and found a number of bottles. Uh, it seems like the guy pulls them out of the back room, puts them on the shelf, but these are old dusty bottles. I'm going to send one of these bottles to a friend tomorrow, so I wanted to show you this. I was going to talk about some Brucladi uh, stuff I got from a ambassador, but I'll do that in my next episode. I want to show you this bottle that I found before I send it tomorrow to my friend. It's a Glendronic 15 year. It's bottled in 2003. You can see, you know, that this is non-chill filtered, no color added. This is a sherry cask. Look at the deep color of that sherry. You really don't see much these days that are natural color that are deep and dark like this with only 15 years of age. And I talked about Paxaret in an earlier episode, and you can see that on my blog at the whiskeyhunter.net. Um, and I talk about how Paxaret was used in uh, Sherry Cast before 1989. But I paid, uh, you can see the price on this, $59 for this bottle. And a friend of mine is going to get this tomorrow. And this will be gone. He uh, is a Glendro nut. And uh, I know he'll enjoy this. Matured in 100% uh, in sherry casks. It's only 40% ABV, but I bet it drinks like it's 47, 48% because those old sherries do. So... We're going to have a review today, and I mentioned this bottle early on. I don't remember which episode, but I found this at the same store, Le Chag. It says 20 years, well, it says aged over 20 years. It's 43% ABV. It's, a na it's natural color, no chill filtration, no color added. It's for over 20 years. It's not a very dark color, which leads me to believe it's bourbon casks. I'm pretty darn sure it is bourbon casks. And you can see I've uh, drank a bit out of this bottle. I'll tell you that the cork, once I opened it, over the years has uh, shrunk and it doesn't fit that well. And I parafilm this after uh, opening it when I put it away until the next time I have some because the cap's loose and I don't want it oxidizing anymore than it has so sometimes I do sometimes I don't want it to oxidize this one I want it to stay the same I have another bottle of this I found when I got this I think these bottles were I don't know $69 $79 I had a lot of trouble dating this and I emailed Tobamori which was Le Chag, uh, which is Le Chag now and went back and forth with a guy named Peter Semple who's the uh, uh, facilities manager there and he talked to people at Tobamori to try to identify this bottle I couldn't find it on the internet and after exchanging a number of emails this is the final email I got from him and this is uh, October 8th 2015 so I must have got the bottle within three weeks of this date uh, it says I have good Alan I have good news and bad news for you my colleagues have been able to confirm from our archives that the whiskey is an official distillery bottling bottled between November 1988 and January 1998. This is before Burn Stewart's ownership. He told me that there's nobody at the distillery left that could identify the label of this bottle from back then. He says the records do not show an AYS date, which is a date of distillation, and therefore we're unable to confirm the whiskey's age. My colleagues feel it is unlikely that it would be a 1974 whiskey as highlighted earlier. I hope this helps you, and my apologies. We have been able to find out more for you. Enjoy your whiskey. Kind regards, Peter. Because it says 
um, over 20 years. So I wanted to know how much over 20 years and what exact year was this bottle? Well, they couldn't tell me exactly. So it's a 90s bottling. Um, and seven, apparently, you know, 70s, late 60s, 70s um, distillation. Great old bottle. Well, let's take a look at this, at the color of this. Like I said, I don't believe any coloring's added to this. I would call this color a honey wheat. Let's take a look at the legs. The legs are very, very slow forming. This is an oily dram. Under the nose. You know, Lechega is known to be a peaty, heavily peated whiskey. This has no peat whatsoever in it. There is no smoke you can detect in this. I believe that it was a non-peated expression put out by them back then. Right off you get fruits. It's heavily fruit laden. Um, orchard fruits, pears, apples, fruits like that. It's a very, very juicy aromatic. It has an unusual aromatic, it, like juicy fruit gum. I've never smelled that in another expression. I get that here. Juicy fruit gum. I smell Wrigley fruit gum. Strawberries. It's kind of got a jammy aromatic to it and, a, and some vanilla, but mostly fruit. It's a, it's a great aroma onto the palate. Tingles the mouth. Most expressions do the first taste I have. I immediately get its mouth watering. It makes you salivate. I get the peaches and the pears that I'm getting in the nose, the, the heavy fruit, the juicy fruit gum is there. So much fruit. I'm gonna have another taste. It is extremely smooth. There's no, no alcohol burn whatsoever. It's silky on the tongue. Gummy bears. Gummy bear fruit candy. Watermelon. Cantaloupe. This is very easy to drink. It, it uh, it would be very easy to put a glass of this away quickly, but I want to savor this uh, bottle. I doubt I'll ever find another bottle like this. I've never seen anyone with it, and I don't find it on the internet either. It's very smooth, and like I said, very, very mouth-watering. Let's uh, put a little water in it. Let's see what that does. 43%, I really don't want to add more than a drop of water into this. I really don't see it clouding up, but I do see particulates in it that have uh, from settlement of the whiskey over the years. I think it's taken away from the nose a bit. I think it's better uh, without water at the lower ABV and, and with the age of this whiskey. It's a delicate whiskey for sure.
Yeah, it's... It actually makes it more astringent, gives it a more of an alcohol taste. It takes away some of that fruit. This does not do well with water. Um, I won't be putting water in this again. I have never put water in this that I, uh, for what I've drank out of this bottle at this point. This is the first for this review that I've tried it with water. The finish is medium, medium long. Um, the finish before the fruit, before the water is different. It was juicy. It had that uh, juicy fruit gum flavor left over. And it's 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 still mouth watering. It's just your mouth continues to water after drinking this. I'd rate this again without the water a 92. This is a great whiskey, and probably never to be found again. Thanks for joining me. Please subscribe, like, and share. Uh, you can find me at thewhiskeyhunter.net and on Instagram at thewhiskeyhunter. No e in whiskey. And uh, thanks, thanks again. Have yourselves a great day.